Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? Happy to be with you guys today. Um, we are going to be making this pretty cool card with the Zany Zoo. I have fallen in love with this suite of products and I just can't stop creating with it. So we are going to do another week of Zany Zoo. I hope that you guys will stick around. Um, if you've purchased this suite of products, you're going to have tons of ideas because I've already done two weeks of it and today is day one of week three. So this is our cute card we're going to make today. You make me smile. I love this little grouping of critters playing their instruments and this turtle kills me singing how he is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to make this really cute card. Of course, we're using the Zany Zoo bundle. And for the sentiment, I wanted you make me smile. So I'm using Timeless Arrangements. It has fantastic sentiments. Um, for the background, dots and spots, die, and of course, my very well-loved scallop contour die for our background. Makes it look like a photo, doesn't it? I just think it's just the coolest. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these guys out of our way. And let's put it together. All right. So the first thing we have is a piece of thick basic white. And I'm going to go ahead. It's eight and a half by five and a half. Grab my scoreboard here, put it in on the long side and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. That will get us in half. and give it a burnish here. All right, so on top of that, we're gonna get our dots and spots. It's a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece. This is crumb cake. And I ran it through the die ahead of time. We're gonna just go ahead and glue it down. So I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. I like to use wet glue, cause it's quick, it's fast, it holds fantastic and it's fairly inexpensive. What I'm gonna do is just kind of put a dash or a line right here, all the way around the edges. That's the most important part. Of course, we want the center to stick as well, but we really want these edges to stay down. I'm gonna use my mini two inch roller. If you guys don't know about that, I'll show it to you in a minute when I put this down. And um, I will link it in the description of the video. So if you don't own one, you can grab one. I got mine from Amazon and I'll link it in the description of the video so that you guys can get one too. They're pretty fantastic, especially if you like to use wet glue because it really helps. You can see I'm going on the diagonal. See how I can get a nice stripe of glue down the diagonal. That way you get glue all over the whole surface. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna try and put it in the right place. But you know, life always hands you something, so you never know if you're gonna get it right. You can wiggle it over if you need to. There is that. And you just wanna get, put your hands down. Here comes my roller. This really helps to bond that piece. Isn't that cute? Crumb cake and white polka dot. And I'm using the thick basic white cardstock because I really love the look of that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my You Make Me Smile with um, Memento on the scrap of um, Petal Pink. So we'll just stamp that and then I'm going to trim it down however I like it. So I'm just going to try and get it here in the middle. I'm going to use my mini paper trimmer. I love that little guillotine trimmer. And I think it works super fantastic. So that's what I'm gonna use to trim that down. Clean that, get it out of the way. All right, here it is. I used to use my Stampin' Up! mini guillotine trimmer, but um, I earned that as a, when I signed up to become a demonstrator and um, so many people kept asking me where I got it, where I got it, and they're not for sale. So I found this one. 
It's the exact same one. It just doesn't have a Stampin' Up! logo on it. And since Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the mini, this is your next best thing. I'm gonna put that down. But I love using it to do cuts like this. I think it does a fantastic job. And I will also link that in the description below to the one that I found that's identical to the Stampin' Up! one. It just has a peach handle instead of like a grayish color. The Stampin' Up! one matched our large paper trimmer. It had like this color handle. So the only difference is the measurements are the same. Every single, the grid is the same. This cutting piece is the same. I've taken the guide off. I don't like the guide, but um, there's a guide that fits in this hole in this hole. I just pull mine out though. Let me see if I can find it to show you guys. Here it is. I have it in my drawer. <laughs> so it keeps your fingers from getting chopped off, but I'm super careful. I remove my guide. I don't like having it in the way. Um, but you can cut yourself, so caveat. <laughs> Use at your own risk. Okay, so now we're gonna work on, we have this part. Now we're gonna work on our background here for our critters. And I am going to use post-it note tape. So I will link this also in the description of the video. Um, I buy it um, on Amazon and it's the one inch tape. And what I do is I'm gonna take my scallop contour die and let me grab the one that I use so I can show you. It's the second size down, the second one from the outside. Okay. And I have taken my post-it note tape and I cut it to a strip the length of this and a little more and a strip the length of this and a little more. And what did I do with it? I gotta find it. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, I did, here. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I saved it, I did. So I took these strips that I cut and I cut them in half. So it was one inch wide and I just took my scissor and I cut it down and the edge that was straight is the edge that I used and we are gonna grab our silicone mat and I'm gonna secure this down here. So I'm just gonna, I wanna cover the little dots. I don't want them to show. So I'm gonna cover them up and all the way across. And then we're gonna do the other side with the other piece, also with the straight end. Again, covering the dots. I don't want them to get any ink on them. So I'm gonna bring this one down a smidge so that I make sure I cover them all. And you definitely want to push that down into place, okay? Now we're gonna do the two sides. Again, I took a one inch piece and then I cut it in half. And you're gonna use your straight end because obviously, you know, we don't always cut straight, especially down a long piece. So you can see my wiggly side is on the outside. <clears throat> and then let's put the last one. And the nice thing about these is they last for quite a few inkings. So I can I saved mine right on the case um, of the stamp set that I was using, which was the timeless arrangements. I just stuck it right to the back and then I have access to it for the next time. All right, <clears throat> so now that we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. Well, it's not gonna stick to the silicone mat. Let's grab a scrap piece. I know I have paper somewhere, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Here we go. Here's an old free shipping um, piece, so I'm gonna Go ahead and attach that down. That way it'll stay nice and secure. Remember, this post-it tape is fantastic. So um, if you don't own that, it's amazing. All right, so we're gonna start first with um, crumb cake and I'm gonna do a little bit of the ground at the bottom here. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and I'm gonna start here at the bottom and make sure I'm on camera. And I'm gonna come along my piece in a circular motion, just real slow. 
and I always take the first little bit off onto my paper. We'll just work our way across until we're happy with the color, the, you know, the depth of the brown that we've gotten. I'm gonna work a little darker to the right here and then I think we're good. Let's switch colors and I'm using petal pink. I just thought that would give us a nice, pretty background. Switching my blending brush, picking up a little petal pink, and then we'll fill the rest with this petal pink. So I'm gonna work my way down the edges first. And then we're gonna start filling in. I love doing some ink blending. I think it's so pretty in the background, especially. It just gives it kind of like an airy look. And I love that. And cause I did my crumb cake first, it can handle this petal pink on it cause it's the darker color. All right, we're almost done. We're gonna fill in where there's just a little bit of white. And of course it will dry and lighten a little bit as it fades. I have a little bit of white right there. Could grab a little bit more, add a cover there. And right up here, I'm gonna get a nicer line at the top. And let's get that center. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So now we're going to get our Stampin' Blend markers. And I'm gonna pull these off. Let's grab my stamp set. And you can see that they still are sticky. You can use them multiple times. They are tacky, but they're not, they won't rip your paper. They stayed nice and down while I did all that inking. See how pretty that is? So that way you protect your outside of your scallop. And now you have this pretty background. Okay, so let's take those and I'll put that over here because that's gonna go on that, but we're not yet. We're gonna work on our animals, on our critters. So I'm gonna grab a small scrap. I always like to have a scrap underneath them when I'm working. And I have originally, when I cut them out, I gave them all ground, but I didn't want them to have ground this time. So we're gonna trim that away. So we'll work our way around here. And I'm gonna kinda cut close where the feet are, but there's crumb cake bottom, so it should be fine, even though they have a little bit of a brown border. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and trim away that ground away from this frog. Originally, and I have used them with the ground. Um, I really like the ground and I came in and did all the ground before I um, fussy cut them out of the DSP because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget to cut the ground around them. And um, anyway. That's why I did that. That's why they all have the ground around them because I took my Stampin' Blends to the DSP before I did any fussy cutting. Now, there, this one's gonna be on the inside, this frog, and I left the ground on him, so I'm gonna leave him alone. You can see him right here. Let's start our turtle. They're not that hard to fussy cut, I don't think. I think they're fairly easy to cut around. And I did them while I was working on a TV show or a series because that's the best time to fussy cut. You don't even have to think about it. So there's that one. All right, let's move on to our, I don't know if this is a warthog, a boar. Not exactly sure, but whatever it is, super cute. I really love um, these little critters and I have had the best time working with them. It's why I couldn't stop working with them. I thought, oh, let's do one more, one more week. 
watch me finish this week and want to do another one. Maybe we'll have four weeks of, <laughs> of the zany zoo critters. <laughs> they're just so adorable and they're so fun um, for any card. If I do a fourth week, I might have to do all three dimensional. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll do all a 3D week with them. And I may do a class. If you guys are interested in a class with the Zany Zoo, let me know. And uh, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll make a class. I think that would be fun. All right. Almost done. Gotta do the bongo drums over here around my little otter. This is the easiest one to fussy cut because it's just the bongos that we gotta cut around. All right, there we go. Now, let me throw all of the ground pieces in the garbage right here next to me and I'm gonna get out my Stampin' Blends. I have used um, a variety of colors. So I'm going to do my little turtle first. So the inside of him, I used Parakeet Party. I thought that would be cute and nice and bright to do underneath his shell here. And of course, you know, the little parts on his outer shell are covered already. And then I used dark granny apple green for his face and his neck, his little head. And then I'm going to do his arm and his feet. Do you guys like to color with Stampin' Blends? I adore them. I think they just make coloring so fast that it's super fun to do. All right. And I am gonna use light crumb cake for his microphone here. All right, so he's done and ready to go. Mr. Otter is going to get dark crumb cake. And he's pretty simple to color also. We have his little hand and his other little hand. Let's do his little body. We'll do this part first. They've already done his tail for us, so we don't have to do that part. I enjoy um, coloring. I've always loved to color, so it's not a chore for me. Um, and in the past, before we had Stampin' Blends, it used to take so long to color the lined images like these, but because the colors of these Stampin' Blends bleed into the paper, it makes it so fast and I don't mind at all. All right, so there's our little otter. I'm gonna do the hair on my boar here, his little spiky hair in the dark crumb cake. And I decided to make him super fun and um, color him blue. Because why not? He's my boar, he can be any color he wants, but I'm doing his hooves in dark crumb cake to match his hair. So I chose um, balmy blue, I gotta find it. I thought I had it here, but I don't know what I've done with that color because I don't see it. Where are you? probably sitting here in my basket and I just didn't I have a basket here next to me it's probably sitting here in my basket and uh, here it is and I just can't see it when you have stuff right in front of you you know all right so this is light balmy blue I just want to make sure I'm not lying to you yeah, light balmy blue. <laughs> for a second, I, I second guessed myself for a second and thought, hmm, did I use dark balmy blue? But no, it's the light one. So we'll do this little head. And I just thought it'd be cute to make him blue 
because these are cartoon critters and obviously a boar does not know how to play the banjo. So it's okay that he's blue, right? And I'm gonna use light crumb cake across his guitar strings. All right, so we'll get his little feet here. I normally have this stuff colored for you guys, but I just thought you might enjoy seeing, um, you know, the choices of the colors that I picked and things like that. All right, so there's him. On to our bear. We're gonna do dark and light crumb cake. So we'll do his nose area and dark crumb cake and his side ears here and his chest. Every time I'm live or I'm recording a video or I'm doing something, my phone always decides that it has to tell me what I have going on. So I apologize for the little buzzing sounds. I think I use crumb cake the most of all my colors. I think I'm also going to do his claws and dark crumb cake. Okay, on to the light crumb cake. I may have to pull out another crumb cake because I think that these ones are getting wore out. But when I feel that they're getting low, I always try and buy a backup. I don't always do it. I've run out before, but for the most part, I do all right getting backups. All right, I forgot to do his tail in the dark crumb cake. We'll come back to that. We'll do his ears. And let's do his little head here. And go around his eyes. I don't want to get any crumb cake in there. His little muzzle or his nose area. And he's, of course, the largest, so he's going to take the longest to color in, right? Because he has the most surface. He's the big guy. He's so cute. We're almost done, though. We have his arm here and shoulder. He's precious. All right, let's just bring that dark crumb cake back out and do his tail. And then he is finished. All right, all our guys are ready to go. So we are going to attach Mr. Bear back here onto this card flat. Let me grab my silicone mat. I'm gonna use our wet glue. Oh, before I do that, let's stamp some music notes. I almost forgot. We're gonna grab our, our memento. And what I did um, to get the music notes is I decided I would turn my stamp around and come from different directions like this. I just thought it would be fun. The bear will be covering most of that. Let me just make sure yeah, he has a little music note there. That's cute. And I think I want to add one or two here, but I'm going to do them individually. So let me clean my stamp and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so we're nice and clean again. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this little music note in the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ink pad to my stamp and just make sure that just that one little note 
that's stamped right there. And I think I'm going to do one more. I think we need one up here. And I'm going to do it upside down this time. Right there. What do you think? Do we need one right there? Maybe we do. Let's get a different textured one. Let's do this one in the corner here. We'll do this one. It's not opened. And we'll put this one right here. Kind of coming from that way. That looks awesome. All right, that's enough of that. So you got to have the music in the background because they're making all this music, right? They're super cute, these little critters. Now we can attach our bear. We're in the final stages here. We're going to start putting it all together. So... Our bear is going to get our wet glue, our wet multi-purpose, and just wiggle it around all over him there. I'm going to grab my tweezers, and those are also linked in the description below. Um, I love reverse action tweezers because you can don't have to squeeze to hold your little piece together. I'm going to put him right here in the corner. Make sure his little feet are near the bottom. I want to make sure I get that music note though. There we go. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to put our boar about right here. But before we do it, we just want to make sure that our frog has room, that we have room for our bongo player. I'm just going to hold them there, and then I can decide where I'm going to put my bear. So I'm going to leave those right in place. Even though they're going to be lifted, our boar is going to be attached to the background with the wet glue, just like our bear was, so... I like to use dimensionals with this because it gives you depth to your card and it looks like some of them are in front of the other and it just looks more natural. So I'm going to lift my little, tuck my boar in there, make sure that I have his guitar and that you can see it. I'm going to bring him a little forward and I love that. Let's put him right there. All right. So now the rest of them get dimensionals. So let's flip them over. I'm going to get my minis. This frog is kind of small, so the minis work good for him. And I'm going to start putting some minis down on this little turtle as well. Now, in these spots where they have kind of like long skinny pieces. I'm going to use the edges of my dimensionals. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to get my little otter or my yeah beaver. Not otter. Beaver. Sorry. I think I've been calling him an otter the whole time. <laughs> I meant beaver. The otters are the little ballerinas. Okay, so this guy is good. But we're going to use the edges. I love to cut the edges. That's why you can see all these lovely edges here. <laughs> Whenever I have anything super thin and skinny, I like to use these edges. I'm going to pull the backs off of them right away so I don't have to worry about pulling them off when they're on there. They're sometimes hard to remove. I'm going to do these little skinny legs of the frog because they need support, but they're not that big. So this, these little strips are perfect to you. So now he has that. I'm going to give... Oops, wrong one. I'm going to give the turtle a little strip down here where that foot is. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more for my um, frog where his flute is because I want his flute to also have a little bit of support. All right, so let's pull those off. And I think everything else looks good to me. Maybe a tiny one right here for this other frog foot. I forgot his other foot, not frog, turtle. All right, let's get the backs off. Grab our take your pick tool. Oops, I'm shooting this right out of there. All right, so let's pull these guys off. I'm flinging things in every direction. So our, tur our little uh, frog is ready and he's kind of in front of our bear. I'm still flinging things. Let me purge. Pull the backs off of these guys. All right. 
Here comes our beaver. So cute. They're coming together so precious. <laughs> and then we have our turtle. Oh my gosh, this turtle kills me. The way he's singing, he just makes me smile. Which is why I thought that was the perfect sentiment for this card. I'm going to tuck him kind of back behind that tail there. How cute is that? All right, let's put some dimensionals on the back. One more. And then we are going to position this onto our card. We're going to tie a bow and add are you make me smile we'll put our frog inside let's get these blends out of the way all right so i'm gonna angle this on my card like so i love that so there they are this is going to come in from the side so we're gonna put a dimensional there and one here i'm gonna use a mini on the top here, the bottom, I mean the bottom, not the top. Oops. All right, because this is going to be leaned on there. So I'm going to put a little wet glue. Let's pull the backs off of these. I have a hard time pulling them with my fingernails. That's why I use my take your pick tool. All right, and we'll put a little bit of wet glue so that this can lean. And then this is going to be straight, so I just want to make sure that I get it nice and straight. I'm going to hold it up before I press it down into place and make sure that I'm not crooked. There we go. You make me smile. And then the ribbon is from this combo pack, Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. It's part of this collection. Um, so precious. Let's see. Let's just tie it on there and then we will trim it off. Once I know. I like to do bunny ear bows, so I make the bunny ears, bring it through, tie the knot, pull this, make sure it's nice and that looks good to me. Let's get my ribbon scissor. All right, so there is that ribbon. Very pretty ribbon. We're going to use a mini glue dot. I have to make sure that my bow is pretty. Got to puff up my ends here. Pull that nice and tight so I know it's in position. And I like to puff the little bow ends up like that. Let's put a mini glue dot on the back. Take your pick tool to the rescue again. Put that right there. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing the card from start to finish. I don't normally, I usually have a lot done ahead of time, but I really wanted to show you the colors that I colored these guys in case you wanted to color them that way. And I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors and trim this down just slightly. That side, maybe a little bit shorter. There we go. And then inside, we're going to put the little frog. Inside here, you can hear me with all my drawers opening and closing as I clean up <laughs> all my things. I do start, you know, coming in on myself, which is why I try and clean up as I go, because if not, I'll have a complete mess by the time I get done. So the little frog's gonna go down here in the corner and I left his little ground left on him there. And how cute, whoops, he moved on me. Now I'm gonna have to make sure I use my adhesive remover, eraser or whatever to um because i'm probably smeared some glue inside there 
All right. Make sure that I it will open when I after I close it. All right. So there is our cute card. Isn't that adorable? I think so. Oops, moving everything around today, aren't I? So, Zany Zoo, Dots and Spots, Scallop Contour Dies. Where's my Zany Zoo dies? What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. So, Zany Zoo Bundle, Dots and Spots. Oh, and don't forget about the Timeless Arrangements, which was the sentiment. All right, there we go. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, I would really appreciate it if you shared my video with your friends. Subscribe for more content. And let me know if you want a class. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for being here. And I'm so grateful to have you always with me. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.